Hello, my name is Dominic Underhall House and welcome to the next part in our Moonbreaker series. So, in the last game, or the last video rather, we started doing a couple of games. We did an AI game, we did our first PvP game, which we did end up winning. I'm not convinced I played it correctly, but we won the game anyway. We were we were about to win, but I feel like I made a few mistakes. I think we just got a bit lucky towards the end. So, before the next game, I did say we're going to have a look at maybe trying our own team build. So, this is going to take a little bit longer. Because what we're going to do first is we're going to have a look at some of the characters and see what sort of thing you know we're looking for here. So you can look for the different cultures, which are the different factions and things we've got here. So I've seen some discussion on Reddit basically saying that at the moment there isn't a distinct sort of benefit to picking people of the same one. So I think what we're going to do first is see if there's a way... Ooh. Oh, is that just changing small to large? Interesting. Okay, I think we'll stick with large for now just so we can see what's going on. And then... Is there so is there a limit on who you can have as your captain? So let's click on rosters first, let's see what we can do. New roster. We'll call this the Underdome. And let's have a look. So captain. Okay, so we've only got three captains at the moment. So I was expecting there to be a couple more than that. So what have we got? We've got Astra, so reinforce whenever you destroy a crew. So that's quite nice. It's whenever you is it when anyone does it, or when this character does? Uh, I mean, um, oh, when Astro destroys crew. There we go. That's obvious. It's literally written right there. So it's basically draw a card, reinforce. That's nice. Reduce the cost of a random crew on the bridge by two for one. Okay, so it's just generating additional Cinder. So this seems like it'd be good for a, a uh, list that uses a Cinder quite well. So this is immediately appealing to me. I've always liked sort of ramp decks and things like that, but. This seems very interesting, so you could reduce the cost of things, reinforce for free, save that resource up, and then bring that you know to the game in other ways, so using abilities and things like that. And maybe even just play you know, characters earlier than you otherwise would. For instance, on turn one, I'm almost always using this, unless I've got something specifically on turn two I want to do with three Cinder, I'm probably using that almost every turn. So, on a silk pillow and a marble keep, his wonderful prize shimmers to sleep, Glowing red and orange, a gift from the sun, locked away safely from everyone. No one ever calls, no one ever knocks, no one ever tries to break the king's locks. Alone in the dark, fades the cinder sphere, all power is lost, reaped by the king's fear. Methodory nursery rhyme. I mean, that doesn't doesn't inspire me with too much. It's sort of a little bit depressing. Okay, so we know Exterior, we've had a look at Astra. What about Zax Jakar? Like, the name is immediately making me think of Jack and Hagar. Oh, okay, so this is the guy that's uh, looks a bit unpainted. Okay, he's immediately reminded me, if you've ever seen Wildstar, just anything from, like, the Datascape, Avatar, sort of like an avatar that just you know, isn't fully there, like a digital creature trying to kill you. I like the sound of this already. So we'll start with his lore. Never seen anything like it. Looked like one of those cheesy hollow ads, but he was walking around. Like some ad decided to stop selling pops and take a little stroll through town. But it was him. Well, it looked like him. Why bother programming a blue hologram of yourself projected by some robot? Got to be some brilliant plan. Can't wait to see it blow up. So, this person clearly is some sort of figure that's well known already. I'm very interested in the lore of this. This has immediately interested me. Like, in terms of the lore, this one has sort of pulled it out more for me than anyone else. So let's see what we've got. Uh, Captain, back off. Push target when he hits. Okay, so he just sort of slaps people back a little bit every time. Kind of useful. It keeps a bit of like disengage force them to move every turn. You can maybe even move block out. Sleeper mine takes one turn to arm. I don't know what that does, but I'm assuming he puts something to sleep. And gravity disc move you. So he's got his own vortex for two. So out of these, I'm going to go for Astra. I mean, are they all? They've all got pink backgrounds, so I'm assuming that's all epic. I like the idea of like the mana based one, saving that sort of thing. And then we've got 10 models to pick. So one of the things I'm going to look at is if there's a way of checking what type of character... Okay, so here's something that I think would be a useful thing to have, is whether we could have a, a filter for something along the lines of you know, what type of attack they are. Are they melee? Are they ranged? Are they the special type? And also if they have a name for the special type, that would be very useful as well, especially if it's built in the game, so we don't have to just sort of call them casters. So what we're going to look at is, I don't know which faction she is from, she, she must be Cherilic. Is it she or he? I just sort of assumed her the name of Astra. 
Let's have a look again. Oh yeah, definitely a she. Oh my god, her hair is awesome. Yep, I think she looks great. She's like a sort of a, a teenage girl riding some sort of frog lizard dinosaur hybrid. I like anything aquatic anyway, it's just something I like. Oh, what have we got here? What's the little knapsack? Oh, she's got a funny helmet, so I'm guessing that might even be a trophy. And an actual cuddly toy of her own mount. That's brilliant. Some caterpillars, I'm assuming, probably for snacks. Yeah, no, Astra's, uh, Astra's it. This is something that I would love to be able to paint. That's going to take days looking at the detail on that. Okay, yeah, so Astra's our pick. So let's see if we can go for Cholek. I'm assuming would be along those lines. Yeah, these have got some creaturey things, so it looks like she's along those lines. Let's start by looking at Ursic Scatterman. I know it's at the bottom. No, no, let's not. Let's just be let's just be content and have a quick look at things. So damage to ally allies in range is reduced by one, but no attack. So expensive to play, but is sort of an aura of defense. I like that. It's not what I'm going to be playing in this. Sentinel. Immobile deals three damage to all units in an area, so it's just like a cannon, but it is a good ability. These are the sort of things we're looking at. Again, no attack though. Amplifier Bittle. This is the one that I like the uh, I like the face of. Allies in range have plus one attack. And is a melee character. Okay, I quite like that. That's interesting, especially for like we'd never have a melee character, but I think it'd be really good with a range team, especially with things like um, Maximus. So I'm going to keep that in mind because Maximus hitting twice, following that would be useful. Uh, Antios Gauntlet gain three attack and first strike this turn. So first strike, I'm assuming, is you just don't get hit back necessarily because he's a melee. Okay. Aria, we know. So Aria's the gain accuracy in unmoving. Axel Pyro. Two damage to all units in the area and burn them. But that's only only costs one. And he does have. Was that a ranged attack? No, no attack. Another caster. The Enforcer. Slow. When it attacks all units in a line behind the target. Okay, that sounds like it's something that could be really good with the. Um, oh, what's her name? Oh, we've just seen her. Amplifier by so, so that's quite a cool combination. Again, not using enough of the Cinder for what we want. Gain two attack and fast when you have no Cinder. So, this is something we're not going to be able to use very much. So, I like the character, but it's not something that's going to be useful for us. Immediate attack any rival that damages Broken Vengeance. I mean, and three damage at range. Yeah. I mean, but it doesn't have an ability. Okay, okay, we're not not told yet. Toss a unit and deal damage to it for one. Yeah, we've seen this. So crankbait, we know. What a crosshair! In. Always crit if she was in play and her target didn't move last turn. That's really powerful. What about dead eye? Gives ranged ally plus forty percent accuracy for two turns. So I'm kind of like up and down as to whether the accuracy is useful, but he does have. Oh, they're not turtles. They're white monkeys. I was hoping these would be like little turtle creatures. British Ozos. Tetonia, we know, is the lobber. Give a melee unit pummel for a turn. I don't know what pummel is. Is there a way of finding out? No. Okay, that's a little awkward. I wish there was a way of finding out on the data sheet. Fate Twister turn turn. Choose unit. If it's friendly, its next attack will hit. If it's enemy, its next attack will miss. That's cool. Also, that is a gorgeous model. I like that. So it's a real utility, just forcing enemies to miss or forcing you to attack. I'm immediately. I'm going to start by putting in Florial Answer. That sounds like something we want. We know what he does. He casts well. Furia. So did she have an ability? No. Jailbreak is the movement blocking. Maximus is. Can't, I can't use him with that paint job. Mikawani thicket or Mikawani thicket. Move to. Trap prey, move unit towards it. So it just pulls thing in. So it's slow. Poison. Uh, after damaging a crew, reduce it to one health. Hey? That seems mad. So what if you built this? Consider this, and then also things that push and pull together as well. Interesting. 
Uh, return an ally to the bridge and fully restore it. Ooh. I love these sort of green design things, like the, uh, what was it called, Fate? Fate Twister and things like that. They look, they've got a sort of similar look to me. So the Novian stuff seems to be just buildings. When it attacks, it permanently gains accuracy and a mobile. Oh, so it can only attack once before it then becomes a mobile, so you really need to get that positioning right on that. That seems hard to use. Stun rival crew for a turn, but no attack. These guys seem the support sort of class through and through. Whenever an ally in range has depleted movement, refresh it. Five remaining this turn. So it just everyone can just run. Nice. Rixie backfire. When it attacks, it has a 70% chance of okay, yep, damage itself and all units in range. I remember seeing this and being pretty upset by it. Didn't look like it was good when I found it. Reduce next damage to a unit to zero. I like that, and it is melee two. It's not too bad. Shrapnel. Can only attack units in range, target all nearby units when attacking. I don't understand can only attack units in range, because that just is normal. Snarling. When it hits immobilized targets for a turn, yeah. Oh my god, that face. That is an interesting face. Stitchy McPatchy. Restore th okay, so Stitchy McPatchy, obviously, I should have guessed with a name like that, is a healer. So we just restore health to a unit. I'm considering taking that. That seems like something that would fit with our sort of be a big mana game plan. Gain rapid fire and slow for two turns. But rapid fire is insane on a three damage unit. Okay, I'm going to put Switch back in. I'm going to put Stitchy McPatchy in. I like the sound of these so far. They seem like good things. I've got more than enough spaces, so we're going to have to be sort of working through these anyway. So, where were we up to? Shrapnel Sterling, Taria Arsenal. So, Florio Lancer, Taria Arsenal, there's like a... I'm assuming these are just uh, roles, like titles. Give a ranged unit rapid fire for a turn. Oh, I like this. Okay, so that's another good mana use. Florio Lancer does So, we need to look at more range units because we've got two different ways so that gives rapid fire for two turns i'm assuming she can give it to herself so we know what tipu does tony mystic is the healer with the unspent cinder isn't it yes okay yes this is something that works with our cinder plan okay and then victorian guardian and the nearest ally in range and line of sight are 40 percent harder to hit but again he's melee i'm not sure that's what we want after damaging crew, reduce its health to one. I just, I can't believe that's the case. If that, if we get that and plink, it's just a one hit kill every time. Very fragile, but good. Ursic's Nectivine. So two health allies in range every turn, but it's immobile. And the Scattervine, slow, charge. Maybe, okay, so that's a haste sort of thing. Growth, create Ursic Scattervine. Hang on a bit. Do we just get loads of these? I'm playing this. I want to try that out. Okay, so... We haven't looked at Crankbait yet. It wants us to do this to get rid of these exclamation points. I'm one of those people where they need to just be gone. Come on, scroll. There we go. Are there any more? We know it's just the one down there. Tipu. Okay, so how many slots do we have left? four slots left. So what we're trying to kind of go for is like a, a ranged kind of thing with the, sort of the rapid fire abilities here. We've got this is good for healing characters. This is good for he so this is good for healing captains, good for healing characters using Cinder here. So one of, let's have a look for these ranged characters then. Who was a good ranged? I probably am going to pick Maximus. I'm almost tempted to just leave that shoddy paint job there. Okay. Is, is it... Can we just go back to the default scheme? Yes. For now, we will go with the default scheme, but... Maxwell can, can, can come in, but... Oh, no, because he has rapid fire. What about our amplifier? Because amplifier is the one that gives big attack. Yes. So I'm hoping attack is applicable to range as well. This is a really interesting sort of selection here. What's Broken Vengeance? Immediate attack, any rival giving that rapid fire again. 
this is really good. So how much... We're going to have to have a look in a minute and see what our cinder costs are. Because this is potentially going to be expensive. What's crosshair? We'll always crit it if her target didn't move. And dead I was... So that's the range buffing accuracy, yeah. But it only cost two, so that might actually be a good one to have. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Let's just select Dead Eye. So, our, our captain's ranged as well. You know what? Reducing cost of units on the bridge. So we've got 552522412442. I think that's reasonable. We've got a couple of big ones. I mean, this is going to be medium. I don't know if Total Mystic Mante is going to be useful, but that's a consideration for later on. Most importantly, what banner can we do? So, crest first. What do we think looks like a sort of a, a ranged Healy selection here? There's some quite cool stuff. <laughs> I mean, oh, these are all blocked. I've, I've blocked, locked. Of course, so we only really get three. So, green is like a Healy color to me. So let's go with that. What shape? Okay, we've got a few of these at least. Uh, range the Healy, so I feel like this looks a little bit too wavy. Oh, these are actually cutouts as well. I didn't realise these were cutouts, I thought they were just patterns. Okay, so for the shapes, I kind of like this. And then let's have a look at the patterns to go on it. Go for a football, I don't think that's quite going to be it. Like a f planetary federation sort of thing, crosshairs. I kind of like this. But I don't like it on that cutout. What about that? Okay, let's go for this and then try it on a different shape. So instead of that, what about... That's quite nice. What about there? No, what about there? No, too busy. Also, the way it flaps every time you change it is kind of nice, but mildly annoying. Which is the one I chose a minute ago. I've immediately forgotten which I chose. I think it was... It wasn't that... Ooh, that's like an actual perfect... That's clearly designed to go together. I don't know why I was saying that. I was like, oh, what a coincidence. It's clearly designed to be the case. But I kind of like it on... Let's... Let's go with this. I like this. So, colour one. Where do we feel? In fact, no, I like the background colour to change first. So... Ooh. You know what? Pastel blue and a little bit pinky. In fact, you know what? No, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for... I, mean, I know for a fact I'm going to get in trouble for this because my partner finds it hilarious that I can't really tell what our... Let's say my fiancé, rather, is our wedding colour scheme. So I'm going to try and make something as close to it as possible. I think that's going to be it. I nearly clicked the randomize button then to finish it. So that is our first list created. This is the Underdome. I'm going to save this. Let's give it a shot. I have absolutely zero confidence in this whatsoever. I'm sorry that took so long, but I think this is going to be worth it. And should we do it? Let's just go straight in versus players. We're not here to mess around with AI anymore. We've got, unless we're trying to learn something completely, but. Enough of these, I've read what they do. It's not overly complicated. I think this is worth it. Astro Underdome. Let's go. Game found. There's clearly enough people playing the early access. So this will be... This might be the, like someone else running the starter, the starter list. I kind of hope it's not, just so we get something completely bizarre, but... Okay, I'm on the door. Okay, we get two completely separate ones. Okay, so what have we got? So I had a thought about Plink earlier, and that was that... Ooh, Plink and Cinder. So basically, with Plink, the, the issue is it's only one damage per turn, essentially, whereas some of the others could potentially be more. However, looking at this, I don't want the movement or accuracy one. I think we're going to choose Plink and Cinder Infusion. We want Cinder, we want health. This is actually going to be pretty good for what we want. And who's coming to say hello? Tari Arsenal gives something rapid fire, which is good. Uh, stitch with Apache and switch back. So we are literally just going to blink here. This and is there one? 
So their captain's ranged as well, but we're going for the... Oh, in fact, no, because we get two next turn anyway, so let's boost morale. I can work with that. Into the Breach was removed stun from a unit, which I like. Okay, so, who did that reduce? Switchback is now three. That's nice, we can just go target Arsenal into switchback. That's so nice. I know, I shouldn't have. Okay, so this is one damage. An auto-arming mine. One so, win, one I guess I could see if I crit. But, let's first bring out Terrier Arsenal. Just back here. I'll hook you up. We'll range attack here. It missed anyway. Then move back here. I like how fast this unit is. Uh, we don't know what their abilities are, so let's just flink their captain. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Careful out there. Stole. So they've got... Oh, they just reinforce every other turn. Okay. So we can blink. Gain 3 Cinder. The Gain 3 Cinder next turn is going to be nice. Can we can we play two characters in a turn? I don't know if we can. Let's find out. Not enough, oh, yeah, we need to gain the Cinder first. I hope this isn't just a waste, by the way. No, we can. So, stitching with Patchy. So these are... That's the commander. I'm just going to stick him back here. He doesn't need to be too far away. Um, we're actually just going to keep plinking their commander, their captain. Keep calling it commander. Ooh, I didn't know plink could crit. Uh, what else do we have left? So we can move and try and get some line of sight over here. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know what the 47% is. Oh, it's there you go. That'll do. I mean... Oh, because she's ranged as well, so if we go here... Yeah, let's go over here and we'll also just... We're going to keep focusing on their commander. Get that too. Yes, there we go. This is working well so far. I'm really glad we got this Cinder ability in Plink. Uh, oh, what was I on stop? Oh, we lose accuracy. That's awful for us. That's literally about as bad as it could get. We are fully the ranged based. Oh, thank you for putting someone in range of my uh, my melee guy. So the thing is now we're going to have to start using our Cinder to reinforce, but that's fine. Nothing to see. So what do mines do? Arming. Explosion at chance of unit doing two damage. Okay, fine. This max. So can I get a line of sight on anything I want to hit? Not really. So. Nice battle shorts. We can reinforce, however, switching it up, gain rapid fire and slow for two turns. I think we just do that. So move here, switch it up, rapid fire is oh my god, oh. okay so I hit one, we're just going to keep blinking there, and then, yeah we're going to try and take this character out, we don't need to nutrient syringe anything, get two in there, give range unit rapid fire this turn, so give it to myself. And then... Got, uh, we can actually... Move back over here. And then move back over here. Who's left? Enter. This is working well. Like, they they don't have a healer so far. Next turn we can start using Reinforce if we don't need the abilities. Still away. We, yeah. So, still away. So they can just deploy someone, can't they? Oh, let's no, reinforce. That's it. Is that a heal? Who's this? I'll give rapid fire. Okay, so we might be losing our medic here. 
That's fine though, because we've got rapid fire for two turns on this, can deal loads of damage here. We can even potentially get two more damage out as well. So, what abilities do we want to use? Switch it up, use rapid fire and slow for two turns. That's literally fine. I mean, this is just a huge hit. Okay, we missed one, that's fine. Can I syringe myself? I can. So. Course it's safe to drink. If we move over here, give myself the initiative again. And range attack here. We get all these. There we go. Plink for the win. See, that was absolutely a really good strategy go because we literally just picked their we picked their commander, their captain, and we went for it. We've got a print screen of the victory screen here just to we need what we know what we need to do. I really like the synergies here. I think giving this this guy seems insane, by the way. They switch back whatever his name was. I'm gonna have a look at his name in a minute because that was absolutely mad. So again, 275 is not gonna go up by 250, is it? Otherwise, we'll be at 525. Yeah. So this played match XP is something different. So it's something different to the victory XP at the moment. I'm not sure if it's meant to be. It doesn't seem to be adding to anything. Really, really happy with how that went. Has anyone here got? Yeah, Maximus and Florio Lancer in our upgrades. Excellent. I mean, that was a really fun game. I actually, I found the strategy to be good. I could see how like things could go, things could go to sort of a little bit more tactical later on. It was, yeah, switch back. So hitting for six, but also the important thing to remember, you get slow for two turns, but you can move before you use it. So I almost feel like if that character gets nerfed, because dealing six damage just with his attack is mad. So I kind of feel like what they're going to do at some point is basically say you must use this before you move because otherwise you're going to end up only getting half of the disadvantage anyway so obviously sometimes you want to shoot and then move to get out of sight and that sort of thing but that was really fun I enjoyed that a lot so thank you for watching it's been a pleasure playing yet again uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button it would be much appreciated if you do leave a like all the things that everyone says on YouTube all of the time really enjoying the game hopefully this community can sort of you know, buoy it up a bit i'd be looking forward to getting some new you know some new lists tried up we've got a few things that we want to try in the future and then we can uh, get a little bit more content from there so thank you once again and have a good day